Hey, Charger. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to American Reacts. We are indeed looking at Hey, Charger TV ads. I've heard about this for a long time, and this was just suggested to me a lot, but more recently, literally tonight, when I uploaded my mail time uh, from John D. He comments a lot, so thank you, John, for the suggestion. It's about time I do this. Uh, long time coming. This is from Rod Lovell, and uh, this can be found in the description down below if you would like to rewatch this uninterrupted. Here we go. You know I'm a Mopar guy. We talk about Holden and Ford a lot in Aussie Motorsports, of course, uh, or car culture. But uh, I'm a Mopar guy when it comes down to it. That's my all-time favorite. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Hey, Charger. <laughs> Hey, Charger. <laughs> Look at that guy's face. You like that? God, that's a good looking car. The unbelievable can happen to you. Nice. That's so 70s. So 70s. Just like the uh, basically the American ads I've seen in the past. Uh, love 70s. How can you not? 60s, 70s, great time to be alive. Great for culture, for music, and of course for cars. And it's so cool to see that the Aussie Charger is a lot different than the American Charger. By the way, if you didn't know, uh, the American Charger, especially the B-Bodies, 1968 to 1970, 1970 in particular, uh, is technically my favorite car of all time if I had to narrow it down to just one. Uh, my dad had a 1970, uh, as many of you know, Pedro. Pedro on the channel, he used to have a Charger as well. And yes, they both regret selling them before they were worth mucho money. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're super cool. You know, I grew up with Dukes of the Hazard. That only fueled it further. I don't like the Charger because of that show. I'm not one of those guys. I like the Charger for a lot more than that. Uh, but, you know, it was just famous in so many avenues here. And it's so cool the Aussie Charger was also cool and famous, but uh, it had its own flair, right? It still looks like a Mopar, still looks good, and it is different, of course, uh, than the American Charger. It's really been fun to learn about it in its own right. It's cool. Look at that, those 70s girls. Wow. <laughs> uh, look at him grinning, and she's like, oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, I, I gotta hear what he said. Hold up. The unbelievable can happen to you. The unbelievable can happen to you. Look at that price. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Uh, not the fact that he's got two girls after him here. It's that uh, he is in that awesome, sexy Mopar for under three grand. That's what's crazy. <laughs> Those were the days. Those were the days. Wow, I bet gas was cheap. Petrol was cheap, as you would say. And uh, look at the price of the car. Look at the price of housing. Man, that was a great time to be alive. I really missed out. <laughs> hey, Charger. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> the unbelievable can happen. He me. tried, man. He tried. <laughs> look at that. It looks so good. Got that Mopar look. Hey, Charger. Seats five. Get the whole family in. Easy push button entry. Climbing seats. Hey, Charger. <laughs> and uh, what about that Temi engine, eh? Plenty of power and economical. Great. And a huge hey, boost. Hey, Charger. Everyone's saying hey, Charger while this guy's giving his sales pitch. To you. It's funny when they talk about the features, too, that were available back then. Like reclining seats, That's like that was like a, a selling point, you know? Hey, Charger. Cleaning the new uh, machine, eh, hey, Rick? Yeah. Anything I can do to help? No. Thanks. Suppose you're uh, nearly finished then? Yeah, I guess so. Going to uh, take it for a spin then, are you? No. Oh. Oh, maybe okay. I can. Okay. So you want to borrow the charger again, huh? Well, if you're not. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Back too late. Charger is <laughs> That's not the only I'm sure option. that's happened back in the day. Hey, can I borrow that? That's a nice looking ride. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Like a list, Susie? Anyone? Damn, that's a good looking car. Look at that. Anyone, Philip? Love the wheels on that one. Anyone? 
Wow. Uh, good night, girls. Good night. Look at these 70s styles on everyone. Uh, would, would anyone like to live? <laughs> is this real? Come on. I mean, hey, it's a good looking car. Mopars were the best back then. Changed my mind. Come on. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if there's they were that magical, right? I, I mean, come on, dang. That that's that'd be something else. You driving that awesome car and getting that much attention. Woo! <laughs> kid, I kid. Hey, Georgia. Who's that? Oh. Uh to go from work. Hey, Georgia! They from work too? Yeah, yeah, accounts. Yeah, they're accounts. Hey, Georgia! And, uh... The redhead? Uh, she's a cousin. Hey, Georgia! Who's that? Uh, cousin. Uh, oh, uh, the problems uh, of owning uh, a new look, Charger. The problems of owning a new Charger. These are awesome! That's it, right? That is it. That's the end. Yo, that was really cool. That was really cool. Those were all a little bit different. Had that awesome 70s humor in there. I mean, come on, right? Uh, really, really cool. I Those are so overdue on my channel. I'm so glad I finally got to do that. Thank you to everyone who suggested that over the last few months, and especially John. Tonight, rarely do I get to have a suggestion done like literally an hour or two later, uh, but I just had to with this. It, it was perfect timing. And he also linked another one. So I will have this linked in the description down below. We're going to go to another one that I believe was aired in the U.S. that clearly took inspiration uh, from this original Aussie run of famous commercials. Okay, now here we are at the second ad. This is just one ad, so it's pretty short. Uh, this is 1975 Dodge Charger TV ad. Hey, Charger, vintage commercial. This was aired in U.S. markets, not Australia. And uh, this is from TSGCH2. This will be linked in the description uh, down below so let's get right to this uh, and let me say before we start oh I, it's going to be a fun ad I'm sure uh, because of you know the the nature of these ads they're fun uh, but the car itself in question I can't ignore here uh, the early chargers you know 66 through 67 were cool 68 through 70 were the best 71 through 74 eh okay they're starting to lose their flair a little bit tail end of the muscle car era here in the u.s uh before the oil embargoes and 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 insurance problems and all these things choking the power out of the cars uh but 71 through 74 okay 75 and up oh my god what a mess this is not a charger guys this is a joke this is not a charger ugly 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 took all the power out it took all the soul out of it uh, this is a bad car. No one wants these. <laughs> I am not. I am a Mopar guy, but I will not stand by a 75 Charger. It's just my opinion. Uh, for some reason, I do kind of like Chrysler Cordobas from this era, even though they're basically the same. Uh, they they were a little better, <laughs> but this is this is just bad. Here we go. Of the new personal midsize cars, one is getting a lot of recognition. Hey, Charger! Yesterday's Dodge Charger got recognition for winning 75 racing titles. Hey, Charger! Is that Mr. Miyagi? I think it is. He was in a lot of stuff in the 70s before he was in Karate Kid. That looks like him. I know it's different attire. That's got to be him. He's got that. He's got that flair. Racing titles. Hey, Charger! That's so cool. <laughs> Today's Charger is a mid-sized car with a style that keeps it ahead of the crowd. And it's getting recognition. Hey, Charger! Maybe too much recognition? Hey, Charger! Nice. I love that old Dodge logo with the Dodge and Dodge trucks and the classic Chrysler Pentastar, of course. So there it is. The U.S. Uh, clearly got inspiration from the Aussies on that one. And there you have it. Please tell me what your favorite out of all these commercials was. Do you remember seeing these? Were you too young to see these? And maybe you saw these for the first time. Let me know down below. Uh, and and even if you're not a Mopar guy, if you're a Ford guy, if you're a Holden guy, GM guy, maybe you're a Toyota guy or something, whatever you are, guy or gal, let me include the gals. I mean, there are car gals too. Is there a Mopar that maybe you like and, and you don't talk about or you hate to admit you like? Tell me down below as well. And I tell you what, before I do my outro, let me just show you, just for 
just for nostalgia's sake, my, my parents, anyone in my family might appreciate seeing this, especially my dad. I'll just throw this in there real quick. I'll show you exactly uh, what version of the Charger my dad had, and then he definitely, we all wish he still had now. Here we go, Dad. All right, so here we go. This is what he had. This is pretty close. This is a 1970. Uh, of, of course, we're talking about American Chargers here, by the way. Uh, it wasn't a 500, so ignore that. This isn't exactly it, but this is close. It was a burnt orange. That was the color, burnt orange. It was a 70. You can tell 70s, remember, have the wraparound bumper and the horizontal line in the grill. No split like the 69. Remember, 68 would have had uh, no split in the grill either, but the bumper was only down here. It did not wrap around like the 70. But yes, uh, I don't off the top of my head remember what exactly kind of wheels he had. He would know. Maybe he'll comment or something. But uh, yeah, he had burnt orange, white vinyl top. Uh, I believe his had white seats, though, not orange or whatever color seats those are. And uh, no stripe, of course. But this is correct. He had the 383 big block. Uh, of course, you could get the 383. You could get, uh, you know, the famous 426 Hemi. Those are pricey and rare. Uh, even the 440 big block. Now, a lot of guys, including me, if I could choose one uh, to just fall on my lap, I would take a 70 Charger, believe it or not, with a 440 over the 426 Hemi uh, for multiple reasons. Uh, but also, I would not mind a 383. The 383 was no slouch. We're talking big block. We're talking lots of power. Had an excellent sound. And you cannot go wrong with the 727 automatic as well. That 727 torque flight was a beast. Could handle a lot of power. That thing was not even working hard with the 383. So uh, that was a great car. Super glad that he had it. Really wish he had it now. So, Dad, you got a shout out there. Uh, this was kind of like your old car. Pretty close anyway. But, yeah, I mean, come on, guys. I, I give praise to a lot of Australian cars, and I like a lot of Australian cars. It's not a lie. But I also love a lot of American cars. And for you Aussies out there, someone out there has got to drool over the American Charger. Look at that thing. That is one of the coolest cars of all time. It's beautiful. Anyway, with that being said, guys, now it's time for the outro. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for the suggestions. As always, suggest more down below. If you would want me to see something along the lines of old Australian ads, old car ads, something like that, let me know down there. Throw a thumbs up on here for nostalgia, for learning about something new if you haven't seen these, and uh, for Mopar, baby. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Check that description for these two videos linked in the description and other ways you can support my channel. Remember, my name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.